Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. Mum's under pressure with us. <laughs> a boy that doesn't like getting his socks tucked in. Come on, jockey. We're going on the bike. Yay. Right, okay. Do you want this? I better tell. I better tell you guys what we're doing today. Today we are going to be uh, weaning our mistakes. Not our mistake, really. It was an accident that happened at wintering. Uh, some Cheviot tops got in with our ewe hogs, and. Yeah, we had a disaster basically. They lambed in June, July. Lambs got worms and just, probably just because they were out of our system with everything else, they weren't really maybe looked after as well as they should have been to be honest with you because things weren't even done at different times of years with them. So the lambs are poor to be honest with you. Um, but we're going to bring them in and wean them today. They have to be weaned so the ewes can hopefully recover to lamb in May. We're going to try and lamb them in May next year and then slowly bring them back into cycle with the rest of our ewes. So that's the plan today. We'll go and get them in, let you see them. Judge us harshly, we deserve it. Let's go. So here they are, without further ado. Jock, Jockey, come and see the sheep. Don't you get run over. Oh. Right, let's get a look at them. Here we go. The the ewes, these are all gimmers of lamb the ewe hogs. All of them, even the white faced Dartmoors. You see that's really not been good for them because they shouldn't really lamb as ewe hogs. We had three of them lamb as ewe hogs. Poor lambs, pining lamb here. You know, see a bit of backbone, dirty tail. Some of them needing a doze again, they have been dozed. Um, but we're going to Zolvix now because they're moving on to a fresh bit of grass so we're going to take them and Zolvix them and let them stand and empty out before we move them on to well they're going into the forage rape actually um, that you've seen in the previous video so we'll be moving them into we'll be just putting them into the field of rape I think that's the best plan with these things keep them on the creek feeding Jock and Mum look here's, here's look at this bringing the sheep in You scared me. <laughs> Perfect. Do you want to chase an old shed, Lizzie? Okay, I think we've got you a reasonable angle there. Let's work our way. I always try and think when I'm doing the videos, I should think about what questions you guys have asked in the previous videos. Uh, what questions have you asked? Oh, I've got a lot of questions. Don't we, Lammies? But Marissa, where's Marissa? She's at college. She's studying agricultural engineering this year. At, at Ag College. So that's where she is. And on Monday she still works in at the market, so she's just three and a half days a week. And on Monday she works in the market. What else is relative to these sheep? Everything's getting dipped on Monday, that's exciting. Been a bit of a delay this year just because of the weather, we'd usually have them dipped and, and everything away to winter grazing by now. But we haven't quite got there yet. We'll get there. These girls will be weaned. And then they'll be put back on to grass that we're on, which is getting quite bare now, just to let them dry off a bit. I'm not sure why we're keeping that sheep, but we seem to be. We saw foot there. Great this little set up on the tarmac here, you can sort of see feet better and everything's cleaner and just nicer. Great for loading the trailer. Very lucky at this bit that they have this kind of hard standing to work on, because there's a long winter ahead. Come on, wait to see this next little lamb coming out, this is not a... That is a wee pining lamb. Uh, we don't want this. Do you want your white faced that more to go with the lambs? Orange head. That's one that we just can't get the feet right on it, so it's going for, for, with the lambs, it'll go for slaughter eventually. Try to get rid of these sore feet, really. Oh, clamp down on it. There we go, we run a small lambs. Small lambs. 
I think they ended up with 50 or 60 lamps here, just, just short of 60 lamps. I have too many clothes on, I'm roasting already. Whew, I dressed smart today, I've got a little shirt on as well. I wore it for Landlord yesterday, so usually if I put a, a piece of clothing on, I'll wear it for a fortnight before I wash it. Well, I don't think, I don't, I'm not sure if this jumper's ever been washed. They were up in the later part of the winter where they probably were pushing the 45, 50 kilo mark. Which is, you know, well sufficient for tupping really. You lambs, you get them 42 kilos, you can tup them. Not that I recommend it as such, you know, have a real think about it before you tup you lambs. If you're set up for it, if you're experienced enough for it. You know, it's not, it's not a job for the faint hearted. Ewes and lambs are weaned. The gimmers are weaned. Here's a look at them. They're looking better now. We did a bit of recovery operation on them and the lambs. We put the creep feeder in. The lambs had creep feeding for most of the time, to be fair, but what I did with these ewes, well, two months ago, they were looking pretty lean. We opened the creep feeder up and just let them guts at it as well. And oh, I probably used about a ton of creep. It's just, yeah, it's another expense to add it to the, add it to the, the, the long list, but we got five ton of lamb creep pellets blown in into the feeder. We're going to creep it at the same time as using the forage rape just to try and get everything finished. I don't want the rape to be finished and the lambs not to be finished or else what are we doing then? Then we buy creep and it's like why do you not do it at the same time? That's my thoughts on it. So it was just over 300 pounds a ton so we're about 1500 pounds in lamb creep. But these lambs are going to go home, get us all Oh, We need to set up an electric fence too. <sighs> Let's get them home and do a bit there. So we've just jumped a couple hours ahead because I went to visit a piece of winter grazing that uh, we have now taken on board. So quite a surreal thing when someone phones you and says of 150 to 200 acres of top winter grazing right next to, to a bit you already have winter grazing, that's like the lottery to a sheep farmer. So we won the lottery today, more or less. So I had to go and see to that while I was doing that. Lizzie has those these lambs. Now, they're not, they're not flash. A couple there with sore feet that she's gave some antibiotics to. The never ending problem we're having, as you know, things are getting foot vax, we're trying to get on top of that, breed it out, eventually we'll be a closed flock and things will be amazing. That's the dream. But Jock's just playing in the rain there, getting soaked behind me. These lambs average 24 kilos, 24 point something kilos. So, tiny, absolutely tiny. They're just just a bonus, so we just need to try lamb, they'll be on creep, they're already used to ad lib creep, which is good, so they'll be on creep, and they'll go into the rape, we're going to go and try and set up a fence now, in the rain, on the rape, not even sure how we make the path through, let's get down there and see what we can do. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz, he really is the wonderful wiz, if ever there was, there was. Gate job. Okay, so we're at the forage rape. Here it is. It looks it looks particularly good at this yeah, spot this here. It's very high. Um, it's not so good throughout as you've seen. There's patchy bits. Very mixed crop. Can't get the drone up today. It's soaking wet. Now the next thing is how do you get a fence through it? Some folk big blade on the strimmer and run through it, or you go over it with a tractor, um, which is probably the preferred method. We don't have a tractor. We have the CF Moto. I think we're just going to drive through this and see what happens. But you just can let me know in the comments what I should have done because we're going to crack on and do this. Yeah, next next time we need to put the fence, we'll do that. Let's. Uh, Jock just loves this camera. Let's go. Uh, so here, this is us, by the way, and the bike. I spoke to the guys at CF Moto actually at the plowing champs, and I said, you know, if by some accident we have an extra one. I might need the bigger one, there's a six seater version of this. Right. This is heartbreaking. Heartbreaking, isn't it? It's not. No? The amount of stuff that's not even planted. Alright, okay. Oh, look at that. Oh. I should get you getting a shot from Rhodes. Oh. Why not even you? Oh, what a 
waste. What a waste. Right, even for that telegraph Right, that'll do it. Gives me a straight line. Kinda. And you see how poor it is in here, folks? Not much of a crop at all. Okay, let's look at what we've done. Oh, so here we go. It is thick at the edges here, but as you saw driving through there, it's, it's quite poor at other spots. Learning curve, you call this, we're, we're learning. Let's try and set this electric fence up. That's another learning curve. We made an absolute disaster of a reel the other day, so I just brought a new one rather than try to tackle that in the rain. Mum will do that. Dad will try and remember to keep all these three the same. Keep them in order. Right, that's them in order. Right, I'll just walk. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna walk this out, then we'll get some sticks set up. Good boy, next one. Can you get one more? Next one. One, one. Good lad, not put it up. Up. Ah. Well done. Next one. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Next one. Can you get one more job. You want to carry it? Carry it. No, I'll carry it. Please. No, no, please, no, I'll carry it because it's heavy. You bring one more. You, you follow us. One. Right, Mum will put these out. You bring one. Bring one more. Don't stab yourself. Right, follow Dad. Come on. Oh my. Fence is in. As you see here, that'll do Meg. Not sure this is going to work. There is going to be some bits touching it. We've tried to clear it as we go. It's not great. Look at this. It's not great. I'm not one of these people that say this is how you should be doing it. I'm just trying to pick up the things I like other, that other people do and try and implement them into my own system. Working a combination of a tight budget, rented ground, and lack of knowledge. A good earth. That's what one of the boys told me. You need a really good earth to do this. Okay, we're set up here. Rails, three connections. Hot, earth, switch it on. Let's go wildlife so that it pings a lot more on the wildlife setting. Check the battery. Battery's full. Wildlife setting. What's off the solar? Maybe wipe it down a bit. So yeah, Galaxy S100. I've just ordered an element. This one I got for free. I'm almost always straight up with you guys. Got this one for free, and this line of fencing. But I've just ordered another 500 meters and one of those solar things off of uh, Tom Nelson at GM Anderson and Stewarton. For any local watching this, Tom supplies the Galaxy. So so it's 300 and something uh, is the price for that unit. And then, well, the plastic sticks aren't too expensive. So it's going to give us options this winter. Right, how are we going to test this, Lizzie? Why don't we just put a hand on it? No? Right, let's try it. I'll try it. Oh. 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 That is working. So suddenly we've jumped to whatever I'm doing now and we've lost the plot, we're going to bring in about 400 lambs and sort them out, see if we can get some to that wintering I mentioned earlier, some onto the rape, some for market, 4 o'clock on a Friday afternoon. I'm sorry, I'm not ready, you're coming now. Good. How do you feel? Could be a few lambs here, eh? Mm -hmm. Five kilos on them. Hey? Five kilos on them. What do you mean? In what? Oh, with the weight? Aye. Um, Lizzie's right, they're end of the day, they're full bellies, their wool is soaking wet. 
She's saying five kilos. It's a lot, hopefully not that much. Some day for it, let's go. Oh, that'd be pretty heavy. 31.5. Off it goes. Okay, so 280 lambs in, we're averaging 40.38. If you can see that there. Which is pretty good. We have uh, a few more left to go. Lizzie is looking at the results. The GoPro's probably all messed it up. Apologies if it's you can't see it. I'll read it out to you. We have 83 lambs averaging 50 kilos. Which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. We have 265 averaging 38 and 293 averaging 40. So somehow that works out at 641 lambs averaging 40.81 kilos. Mm -hmm. Not bad having 641 mm -hmm. lambs averaging 40 kilos. It's quite, quite nice. It's nice when I know how many debts we have, like £32,000 for Cheviot use. So that's still lying out at UA market to be squared up. So that, that'll need to be squared up as fast as we can. So 641 through there, we have 50 that we did this morning. And then we have another 120 at another bit of grass. So we have 820 lambs still to sell, which will help me sleep tonight because I wasn't just 100% sure. We did a rough count. I thought, to be fair, I thought we had about 700. So we're 120 up, but then that's basically the store lambs we bought. That's uh, that's the difference here, right? It's been, it's rained like this the whole entire time. That's why I basically didn't bother filming anything. Let's dry. eh? Not soaking how? Oh, oh, I'm dry under the jacket. I thought you meant ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, dry under the jacket. Shout to better craft. Great, great gear to be fair. Absolutely great gear. Now, so there's 290 there to go into the rate, and then with 200 odd to go to win different bits of winter grazing, like we mentioned before. And then we have 80 odd that will go to the market very soon. But you'll see that in other videos. I'm going to go on, we're going to stop filming because it's too late at night. We need to go home, need to get the boys home and get on with things before it gets dark. That's the days are getting short. It'll soon be Christmas. And on that, please check out the merch store. Please. I'm begging you. Begging you. Aren't, aren't we, Lizzie? No, Lizzie would never beg. She's too proud. I'm not. Please do check out the merch store. Keeps this whole thing afloat. See you for the next one.